Let's get to News 4 Tucson's Cristiano Ramos, who is live from Valencia Middle School on the southwest side with more on how people over there are dealing with not having any power tonight. Cristiano. Good afternoon, Sean and Monica. Yes, I'm here at Valencia Middle School where Pima County has teamed up with the American Red Cross to set up a cooling center for those affected by the outage. This is one of many power outages within the last two weeks. And we spoke to TEP who says they prepared for monsoon as best as they could. A microburst produced damaging winds of 65 miles per hour or greater Sunday night. The worst storm for Pete Martinez. Big uh, Palo Verde tree, it just uprooted it. TP says 36 power poles were knocked down in southwest Tucson, leaving thousands of residents like Linda Gibson in the scorching desert heat with no AC. Well, I'm thinking that I can't go get ice for my stuff in my refrigerator and freezer. I. I can't even afford to go stay at, at a hotel. Power lines and pools have been making roads impassable, kind of like this one behind me here. This is West Drexel Road and South Caballo Road. You can see three power poles snapped in half and knocked over to the ground. Elizabeth Aravalo and her six year old son stayed in their car's AC for hours before they could safely leave the neighborhood. We're out of electricity. We're stuck here. No way out. All the roads are closed. So we're just gonna have to bear it with the heat and it's hard because it's hot. Monsoon has packed a punch, causing widespread outages over the last two weeks. News 4 did the math and over 26,000 homes have been affected. TEP says although they inspect and replace equipment before storms hit, Mother Nature is difficult to control. There's no predicting where damage could occur or how it might damage our equipment. Crews have been out all day clearing debris and blocking off roads to replace poles. But TEP says it could take several days to get power fully restored in areas along West Bilby Road, Pima County setting up a cooling center at Valencia Middle School. TP says they're replacing those wooden poles with metal poles because they're more durable and can withstand some of those stronger, more severe storms. Now, chances are somebody who is affected in this area by the outages are probably not getting our newscast. So if you know someone who lives in southwest Tucson who doesn't have power, you're probably texting them. Help us spread this information. There is a cooling center here at Valencia Middle School. Pets are allowed. They will require you to verify uh, your location to make sure that you are um, affected by some of those outages. Now, I'm reporting live in southwest Tucson. Christiana Ramos, News for Tucson.